when I was like pretending to try and buy drugs from the people at the front desk, I'm like, I wanted to, I thought it was an inside job. I'm Katie Darrell, and now listen, Tyler Bryant of Tyler Bryant and the Shakedown is with me right now. How's it going, dude? Hey, good morning. It's good to see you again. It's so nice to see you again. Not only are you on your fifth, finished your fifth studio album, new music on the way, but now you have a custom signature Fender guitar. You have arrived. Welcome. Isn't that crazy? It's a dream come true, you know, but, you know, don't call us relentless. You know, we're still here. <laughs> Still doing it, and um, yeah, it's, it just, you know, the guitar just came out, and it's like all of my childhood dreams are coming true. It's crazy. The guitar, Pinky, has a very interesting backstory. I know, uh, well, I, why should I tell it? You tell it. Tell us the backstory on Pinky, and, and if you miss any of the good parts, I'll, I'll remind you to tell us. All right, so, it's yeah, it's a crazy story. So, we um, actually, we were, we were probably promoting our first record, Wild Child, uh, when we spoke in 2012, and... This is the guitar that I would have had with me. And this is the original Pinky. And not long after we spoke for the first time, this guitar was stolen and missing for five and a half years. And I got it back. It showed up at a used car dealership in Spokane, Washington. Both of my parents growing up worked two jobs. They pulled together money to buy me this guitar that you see up here. Pinky too, right? Pinky too. that's like beat to, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's seen so much. Over the years, a lot of people have showed up to Shakedown shows with guitars that looked like that, where they had, you know, tried to make it look like that as close as they could. And um, I just started snapping pictures of everybody's guitars, and then people were sending me pictures of their Pinky-inspired guitars. And we played at Third Man Records um, here in Nashville, Jack Jack White spot uh, for Fender, and. I was like, hey, you guys want to see something crazy? Check out all of these guitars that look like mine. And they were like, wait, wait, what is this? And like, <laughs> Hold up, to there's a market. Bring them. Yeah, and so we ended up with this. This is the um, this is the one I've been playing out on the road, and it's... Uh, when the original Pinky got stolen, uh, do you, did you feel like you went through uh, almost that moment, like Pee Wee, when his bike got stolen? <laughs> and I, you were just, ha you had to interrogate everyone? Oh, dude, I was devastated. But yeah, we were supposed to get on the road and we, we stayed in Spokane at the same hotel. And I was like pretending to try and buy drugs from the people at the front desk. I'm like, I wanted to, I thought it was an inside job because we had parked right in front of a security camera. I mean, it's, it's my own fault for leaving my guitar in a band van. It's like basically saying, rob me. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's like band 101, right? Don't I know, do that. I learned the hard way. I've always had to learn the hard way in my life, and I learned the hard way, but luckily the guitar showed up, and, and the, yeah, because I'm a horrible investigator. I didn't find anything. Uh, one of the things that makes the pinky really special is that uh, the pick guard. Check it out. It's all hand engraved by this guy that's been a longtime friend of mine, and each one takes him hours to do. So he just, you know, sits there and, and, and makes it happen. And uh, each one is subtly different. Yeah. There's no way to make all of them exactly the same. And I think there's a lot of beauty in that. When the robots take over the world, uh, they won't be able to do your guitar. That's for sure. <laughs> exactly. They're going to have to know the guy. <laughs> uh, all right, Tyler, now let's move on to uh, the new music. Listen, you just released a new single on March 3rd. The uh, EP is on the horizon. Um, how does this album feel now Now that, I mean, you know, life is kind of good right now, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, life is wonderful. Um, you know, it's been an interesting time for our band. We, we recently started our own record label called Rattleshake Records, and it's an independent record label that we own and operate. I think we, we've always wanted to do this, and we just decided, okay, it's time for us to bend on ourselves and take our shot. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's allowed us to release music more frequently. Um, and that was one of the main goals, was to, to not make a record that we have to, to wait for a label to get through all of their other projects to then have the attention to spend on it. Because um, we are we are the label. So we, you know, <laughs> we put out our last record, uh, Shake the Roots, in September. And here we are in March, about to put out a new EP on shell pink vinyl, I might add. So, and uh, I, I wanted to call it Dirty Work because um, 
growing up, my dad had a landscaping business, and I, I used to help him with that, and that's how I started buying guitars as a kid. And I was out on a out on a walk, and I found this shell pink wheelbarrow. You know, I was like, this is the most cool looking wheelbarrow I've ever seen. So I drove home and got my guitar, and put it in there and took a picture, that's the album cover. And uh, yeah, it's sort of just like a tip of the hat to my father and his hard work and the sacrifice that got me the guitar. And you know, the guitar is all over the, over the album and it's just sort of a, a celebration of an exciting time. Well, and the dirty work is what makes the world go round, right? Let's be honest. You gotta get in there and get your hands dirty and make it happen, you know? This, uh, the new album, uh, it's uh, right around the corner. Um, people are gonna be able to get their hands on it. Uh, your wife did some vocals on it? Is that? Yeah, am I yeah. That right? I'm okay. married to uh, Rebecca Lovell from Lark and Poe. And, and uh, you know, we, we have a very musical house. We have a, we have a studio downstairs that, we, that this record was recorded in, as well as uh, Shake the Roots and a lot of their album, uh, Blood Harmony. And a lot of times, um, you know, actually the first single, Chauvin Worse, Rebecca and I wrote that song together. That's uh, sort of a tradition is when we're having coffee, we're singing songs and a lot of yeah. times they're old country songs, you know, something that we're, that, you know, neither of us really do, but every now and then, a rocker finds its way. <laughs> uh, who who gets the song when you have a great coffee moment? Who gets to say dibs? That one's mine, 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 mine. Oh uh, well, normally it's pretty. It's normally pretty obvious, you know. There there was uh, one song on their last record that if they didn't record it, then I was going to totally steal it. But I knew that she would do it better. So there's a song called Deep Stays Down that we wrote together, and I I was in love with that song, and it, and for a minute I thought that it wasn't gonna make their album and so I started doing I started working on my own version and then they they ended up doing it awesome yeah. all right Tyler well the new pinky guitar is available from Fender it looks amazing uh, and listen I've talked to a lot of the, the Fender signature guitar artists you know uh, and I have to say I kind of gravitate towards yours the most I mean the, the her one is really fantastic Billy Eilish's ukulele was really rad Nile Rogers I mean the hit maker but yeah. Pinky does kind of have something special about it. So um, yeah. I'm happy for you. It does, man. And I'm in good company. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful to uh, for, fin for Fender, you know, giving me the opportunity to carry the Stratocaster torch a little bit, you know. The new album is available on March 24th. Uh, Tyler Bryant and The Shakedown. Make sure everyone uh, pre-orders it, buys it, uh, grabs the vinyl, all the things. Just go do it. Do it is the message today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is, or who your favorite bands are, and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.